<clears throat> Hi folks, good day. This is Hillary De Fraser's The Marketing Mom here with you to share with you today. Basically, how do you find people who are already passionate about what you have to sell? Um, keep in mind that whether you are in a MLM, a network marketing business, or uh, an affiliate program, all right, you're an Amazon associate, You, how do you find people who already want to buy what it is that you are offering to sell, all right? So three questions that you need to ask yourself, and this is something that you need to ask yourself in order for you to be able to market so that those people become attracted to you, all right? That's basically the principle that we're working with here. The first question is who's your ideal or perfect prospect so who's the ideal person you want to start with the who a lot of people say okay i've got this skincare product to sell so what is it about the product that people are going to like no that's the wrong approach you have to think about the person who's going to eventually buy it all right now sometimes it's kind of like a chicken before the egg situation because you're just like well what if nobody wants the product that i have to sell there, there is somebody out there who wants the product you have to sell. You just haven't done enough research on people because you're focused on the product. Nobody cares about the product. They care about themselves, all right? So if people care about themselves, then they're only concerned about them. You need to be only concerned about them as well. Your ideal prospect, your ideal customer is a person. It's not a product. I don't care whether this computer has 10 gigabytes or what's not. What I do care about is being able to download a movie at a certain speed. That's what I do care about. I do care about being able to upload something. So when somebody's selling me a computer, they're not selling me the, the features of the computer. They're not focused on the product at all. The first questions they're going to ask me is, so what do you do with a computer on a general basis? What um do you do a lot of video? Do you do a lot of um what you call those things? Google chats, right? Do you do a lot of streaming, live streaming video? And then they're gonna figure out which product is best for me. You need to do the same thing. You need to figure out who is the person that's going to want the benefits of my product. All right, so ask yourself the question who is your ideal product P prospect sorry the next question you want to ask is what are the problems they have and that's what i was alluding to what are the problems they have everybody has problems okay and everybody's problems has a solution they just haven't found it yet your job is to present the solution to their problem but you must know what their problem is okay as a person they have some desire they have some problem some pain that you have to solve all right and that's basically where your product is going to fit in so the second question that you want to be asking is apart from the who what's their problem what's their pain what's their desire all right and then the third question is so where do i find them where do i find them and i'm going to answer this in a very what most people would call blunt way you find them everywhere but you find them mainly through if you're online facebook maybe google google plus those type of things where do you find them you find them exactly where you're where other people are selling all right you find them where your competitors are selling them to because for example um let's say because because i'm a mom right I'm going to be in a lot of mom groups and mom videos. I'm going to like a lot of mom pages. I'm going to like a lot of products that relate to moms. So if you are somebody that's selling anything related to mom, you're going to want to find me where other moms are going to hang out, right? Because we already have that interest and we've already shown that we want to buy from these things so there's this one for example this one facebook group that i'm constantly looking at it's called um used baby used baby items right i'm constantly there and i have bought before right it's a selling group right where people are they post up all their old stuff you know an old slide and old um 
old what you call those little swingy things right the little babies going old um bouncers all of those type of things right so you know that i'm you're gonna find if you if you have something like that to sell more than likely you're gonna find people who are interested in that in that type of group right facebook has already done all of this research for you all right facebook could tell you who has purchased what at best buy who has purchased what at target so where do you find people when it comes to your online marketing you need to look at different platforms now that have done that research for you already and facebook is a great tool for that all right so hope this has been this has been a very short video for today i hope it's been useful in terms of you trying to find people you have to kind of not think about your product at first you got to think about the people all right your product is sitting down here whether it's a cell phone whether it's a skincare item whether it's a, a training course right a facebook training course or whatever the case may be you are sitting there thinking how am i going to sell this product to people well no let's start with who are the people anyway who are the people anyway that i want to sell this to do they have wrinkles do they have this blah 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 what are their problems right who are the people what are their problems and then where do you find them my simple answer is facebook go and do some research on facebook all right so i'm not giving you all the answers today you're not going to get all the answers because if you're in business you got to do some work all right so have a great day today this has been hillary the marketing mom and i talk a lot about mommy stuff because at the recording of this video i am like maybe three weeks away from my due date so we're all excited this is second baby um all excited about that so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you've got value from it comment below share with your friends the share buttons are gonna come up at the bottom there share with your friends and family and get out there and go and start finding some new prospects all right have a great one bye now